Okay. It's unfortunate because Cricket is not here, but this was a video recommended by Cricket. You've seen him in the comments. You've seen him in the chat. He's one of the OGs. Um, fat acceptance is wrong. That is a title. Okay. Um, I'm going to give my opinion before anything. Okay. I think that fat shaming is not okay. But I think that uh, fat positivity is also not okay. Um, my whole thing with like, with like people who are fat is I don't think that it should be glorified, but I also think that it shouldn't be like made fun of, you know what I mean? Like, like I, I, unless there's like a reason to why they're being made fun of, I, I'm like, eh, okay, or comedy, I guess, whatever. But like, f like literally like saying you're fat, you're a piece of shit. Like, like, you know, like commit, you know, like, like die, you know, like shit like that. I think that shit's fucked up. But if you're somebody that's like somebody who's literally morbidly obese and potentially could be like um uh could potentially like having like health problems and everyone's like yes queen slay i like that shit is like nah like you can't be come on even if it was a dude like still no it's not just women who are fat it's also men like we should not be praising the idea of of like oh my god yes you're fat oh my god you're beautiful you're fat it's not that they're not beautiful it's just that you're not healthy you 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 shouldn't be doing this to yourself you're hurting yourself it's not good um, but anyway, let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. Has an extreme opinion. I, a uh, boo centric, centrist trash. I don't know who that is. Is that this guy? I'm no. about to get demonetized. Oh, yep. oh, this is, a, this is by KD, by the way. This is first time I've ever seen his video. So, uh, subscribe to him. You read that. Actually, well, well, let's watch first. Then we'll subscribe. Right. This isn't clickbait. Chip, this isn't bump, fake, bump. Yes, 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 yes. All right, but that video, that video is kind of funny though. This should kind of go hard. These are my real thoughts, and I'm not going to water everything down on the off chance I get canceled being fat phobic in the future, because I really mean this when I say fat people piss me off. And let me get one thing clear for you, bitch. It's not plus sized. It's not big boned. You are fat. And what I say, very true. That is true. Fat. I, I don't mean a little overweight or like your average English bloke. Like It's fine to have a little fluff around you. Yeah, like this is OK. Like, is, is it unhealthy? No. But is it like... You're kind of getting there a little bit, but like, honestly, I feel like I'm, I'm this kind of, uh, I'm either, I'm, I'm kind of this body type, maybe a little more than one on the left, but I'm, I'm kind of this body type right now. Belly, because that doesn't affect me. And you don't got to look like a chiseled Greek God all year yeah. round to be that guy at the party who doesn't have a slice of pizza because Ooh, I'm on a diet, bro. Like, shut <laughs> ass up. And more importantly. No, okay. That's another thing. People who are like gym rats, if, if you're the fucking dude who's like, oh, I, I, I can't do that. I, I. I can't do, oh, oh, I can't, uh, bros just roasting 250 found people. No, no, I wouldn't even say 250. If you're like, I want to say like, I, it, because that's the thing. If you're like really tall and you're really heavy, you won't actually have a lot of fat. But, um, I mean, and also people, there are people who are over like 300 pounds and they're fucking ripped. So I can't really say it's not really a weight thing. It's more of like a physical like fat density thing. I think that's the best way to explain it. And like if diet wise. Your life isn't impacted by your weight. It's fine to be what you are. But when I yeah. say fat, I'm talking this, this, and Jesus. most certainly this. I am offended by the word fat. Three, two, one. Fat shaming. I mean, hold on. I wouldn't. Eh, okay. No, I'm not gonna say. I am here is because I feel like in the past. Yeah, fat I've, to muscle ratio is really what's like what it is. I feel like. Been such like a like derogatory term and like we've been so like ridiculed for the way we look. It's almost like I want to take that word back and make it a positive thing. Lady, this is not racism. What the fuck? People call you fat because that's what the fuck it is. Like that. That's that's what. It's not an insult. It's it's fat. That that's what you ha you have fat. What what the fuck do you want me to say? What, what 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 is fat? Like we know what fat is. There's trans fats. There's other fat. Like there's there's a bunch of fucking terms for fat. You have fat in your body. Okay. I have fat. Okay. I have fat. My my fucking cat has fat. We all have fat. We all have the fat. But when you have a lot of fat, you are fat. Like that that's what it is. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. What? If being called out for being this fat offends you, instead of complaining, why not just lose the weight? Ew, my yeah. body, my choice. Like when you take up an entire aisle, it becomes my choice too. <laughs> okay, I'm never wrap my head around this thought. How and why did you get so big? Like I'm genuinely curious how these people can actually live like this. I remember being see like that. Okay, like 
And again, I, I really don't want to sound like I'm hating on fat people because I'm not. I really am not. Like, listen, if somebody is fat and big, it's not my problem. It's really not my problem. But I do have the question. How the fuck do you live your life? Like, I, I, I don't. <laughs> am I a joke to you? Fatism. Fatism. It's just like, I don't. Am I the only one that is going to strongly agree with what? With like being called fat as an insult? I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. I mean, listen, like, I can understand how it's an insult. Like, I can understand how it feels to be, like, insulted. But my thing is, is, like, listen, I've been called fat. Like, I've been called fat by my friends. But my immediate response to being called fat is, like, damn, now I'm going to go do push-ups because I feel like I should. <laughs> like, that's my response. I don't think, well, actually, I think I'm going to take the word fat back because I think that I'm going to take the insult, um, the line thing. Oh, strongly agree that, uh, what, what was the term? Uh, I'm offended by the word fat that you strongly agree. Interesting. Interesting. Fat? Like, okay. I, I mean, like, I, I don't I just. Fat, fat. But I was like five foot four, 174 pounds at my big. That's not fat. Shut the fuck up, bro. What? Biggest. You know, pretty hefty for my size. And my ass got cooked in school by my friends. And having lived as the fattest in the group at one point, it makes me so confused why people choose to live like this. No amount of Krispy Kremes is worth getting L plus ratio plus your fat every time you try to roast somebody. It's just visually yeah, too. True, like true. every time I see these people outside on the streets or in a Walmart, bellies jiggling. <laughs> Thighs rumbling in the earth's core, and I watch Another them one. as they waddle over a Another one. negative 11 and beat my 90 year old Another grandma one. with osteoporosis to the mobility Another school. One. And I just think to myself, you know, there's a there's a thing I saw on Reddit the other day where it was like it was a video of a lady complaining about plus size um like things that aren't there on airplanes. And my reaction was, ma'am, um <sighs> you you, ma'am, the reason why there's no plus size accommodations is because if if you weigh over a certain amount of pounds, they won't let you on the fucking plane because you would potentially cause the plane to not fly properly. <laughs> like, by two seats? That's even worse. Like, listen, I, I, there are... Obvi no, no, I get you. I get you. See, here's my thing. Like, I understand when it comes to fat people. I get it because it's not it's not as easy as, oh, just lose weight. Like, I get that. But my issue is, is that if somebody says, oh, it's not that easy. The first step is saying, I'm going to do this and then sticking to it. That's the first step. The first step is saying, fuck it. I need to get help or I need to do this. But a lot of people who do have a, a weight problem refuse to do that potentially because they maybe they don't know how to start or maybe, you know, it's it's kind of scary to them because they, they, they don't want to be judged. You know, that shit is scary. And I 100 percent get that. But the thing is, is that if you want to instead of fucking trying to make it like a mental thing and be like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking sexy. I'm beautiful. Body positivity, blah, blah, blah. There's body positivity is you mentally accepting who you are as a person and having a healthy body that is what body positivity is loving your body as it is and also keeping it healthy that's what body positivity is and what people are doing on the internet when it comes to people who are plus size that is not body positivity absolutely not why do you fat Michelin man built motherfuckers Jesus. Throw you titles of those mobility scooters y'all don't need the wheels you need cardio like there should be a weight limit Go on, keep going, keep going. On those Nile, like drink water. I don't have water in my room at the moment. Feels enough pressure. It just starts yelling at the rider. Come on, move fat so you're blocking the aisle. Jesus Christ, you're so slow. That grandma could crawl faster than this. Like, you guys can't even walk to get your candy and chips. You won't even attempt to at least burn off those calories whoa but my knees hurt i need my scooter no you need a calorie deficit this is why i hate fat people especially you dwarf planets that post on social media about fat acceptance and other big out oh movements. god here we go because i believe in society especially in america we have this idea that oh yeah all fat people ate themselves that way that they just sit at home and they're lazy and they don't do anything and they ate themselves that way but no yeah i agree i don't i don't hate fat people i don't know why he said that but they don't take into account people who have a disease they don't take into account people who <laughs> no this guy's so fucked up work out and their body is just built that way you lazy fat ass smeller you 
planet. You clogged <laughs> artery, you fat fuck. I do not want to see a single comment under this video about your external issues causing you to become 700 pounds or that fit people are fat phobic. Because for an overwhelming majority, not all, but a majority of you, y'all are fat because you're lazy. Truth is, you can't be asked to spend an hour in the gym every day when you get home. See, okay, he is correct. Not all fat people, but a lot of people who are fat do use the excuse of, oh, it's my genetics or this, this, and that. When realistically... They were either raised badly in the sense of like how to properly like, you know, portion their stuff, you know, and, you know, how to not eat a lot of sugars or eat a lot of fats and stuff like that, uh, you know, and eat a lot of, you know, thugs that had a lot of grease and stuff like that. It, it does. It does root from childhood that that is. See, because here's the thing, right? This is what this is why a lot of people do become fat is when you're a kid. Your metabolism is like that, right? When I was younger, you know, I was skinny, then I was fat, and I was skinny, and then I was fat, right? Yeah, no, that, that's kind of what this guy does, I'm assuming. I think he just makes roast content. But, um, like, that that's how my body was. So, when I got to a certain age, my body stopped becoming fat and skinny and fat, and my metabolism kind of, like, fixed itself in a way, and it just was, like, actually starting to catch up with me, and I started to gain weight. That that's what happens to a lot of people is when they're kids, their parents don't give a fuck. So they just eat whatever the fuck they want because they're kids and they're like, oh, it's fine. I'm a kid. My metabolism don't give a shit. So, you know, the parents don't teach them anything because of that. And thus, the more those kids eat, the more weight they gain and the less cardio they do, the less weight they lose. So it's just catching up to them. And then once they get to the age of like 19 to 21, that weight just bleep, just fucking destroys their body and then they start becoming bigger. But the problem is, is at that point in their life, they probably have a job, they're really busy. So mentally they're like, fuck, I don't have time to work out. So they just keep gaining weight and gaining weight and gaining weight to the point where they're like, it's my genetics. This is how I grew up. I can't do anything. It's like, that's, that's kind of what it is. I've never seen an overweight child. I question what their parents are feeding them because how fat children. Yeah, exactly. Like the fact that if your kid is like genuinely big, like, like if your kid, if your kid is plus size, maybe, maybe, maybe lay off the, the happy meals. Okay. Maybe, maybe lay off the happy meals. One of the kids were fed uh, Dunkin' Donuts after school every day. What? That's not good. From work, you dive That's straight onto the couch after sitting down for eight hours to unwind after a long day. Then say there's no time for the gym. All while stuffing chips down your face hole and get a takeout. Hey, you don't get to talk about me like that, bro. You don't get to talk about me like that, dog. Every day because you can't be asked to cook. But can be my, my depression. Eating is my comfort. Understand my pitch. Shh. Shh. Nah, I hear that, trust me. But I argue that you're depressed and unhappy because you don't work out or exercise. Because you hate what you see in the mirror. Because you're self-conscious. Because you can't see That is the truth. That is the 100% truth. That's low-key how I feel sometimes. Punish her when you look down. I see you. <laughs> like, sure, life may be giving you a hard time, and I know your lard ass can just hear the cupcake tray calling your name, you know, promising happiness, but eating your sorrows away is like wrapping your severed finger with a dirty cloth. Like, yeah. sure, you stop the bleeding for a little, but it's only going to cause more issues. I know it is way easier said than done, and some people, especially people who suffer with legit mental health or eating disorders, yeah. find it hard to commit and discipline themselves <laughs> in discomfort, but there's no way around it. Like, it's literally scientifically proven that yeah. exercise is a natural ending yeah. person. It should be the first thing you turn to when in a rut. It ain't easy, but there's no magic formula to weight loss or some cheat code to beat your problems. It's all about just ponying up and doing it if anything exercise is the cheat code you know go get a trainer get some help from fitter people. honestly you don't even need a trainer just look up a decent workout routine and fucking stick to it like it's not it's really not that hard i mean the, the hardest part is just getting up and starting to do it that's really the hardest part but once you start doing it for like i want to say like three days you kind of get into the rhythm and you just keep doing it and that shit feels awesome in your life just change your circumstance and give my grandma her scooter back but however <laughs> this advice only goes for the people struggling with legit problems because a majority of the people behind most of these fat acceptance movements there are these blobs these nuclear war bunkers these lazy Jeez. fat asses Jesus, rather just bro. force and gaslight the world into accepting their great wall of china looking asses sis is fat sis is dope i am sis Oh, God, I hate people. I think gaining muscle is harder than losing weight. That is true. 
uh, losing weight is easier than actually it's not true. Uh, actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Losing you losing fat is easier than um, uh, gaining muscle because they can't be bothered to put in the work into their appearance. Mm, big is beautiful. You, you can't handle all this. I don't want it. <laughs> right. If you I don't want to handle them. Don't care for weight loss and are genuinely happy with yourselves general. and not just telling yourself I'll look that, that you in a second. I really couldn't care or less after if you're watching fat or not. Just don't let it affect my life because I should not have to feel like Indiana Jones at Walmart because your big ass comes tumbling down the aisle on your little scooter. But in fact, wait, 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 wait. I took the other 20 minutes. I should not have to feel like Indiana Jones at Walmart. That's what just makes me sad, dude, same. Because like... And again, I don't want to sound like I just hate fat people because I really don't like I have nothing against people who are fat. I feel bad for people who are fat and it makes me sad because it's like, damn, like I want to know like how you're happy living life like that. Like you're you're not able to move properly within like, you know, how you're supposed like you could probably move. You could probably wipe your own fucking ass and walk. But like like how are you happy that that's just that's what bothers me is like i don't, I don't care if you're fat i just want to know how are you happy like and it's it's not me being mean it's just like how are you happy i want to know how are you happy big ass comes tumbling down the aisle on your little scooter but my issue is that a majority of people who are fat are not happy with themselves yeah that, that's how i see it it's like i i feel sad for them because it's like I, I like there's nothing I could fucking do, but like just seeing like somebody who is like fat potentially becoming obese, like it's like damn, you're fucking destroying yourself doing the shit you're doing. Like I, I feel bad. Like I want to help, but like damn, that's fucking sad. That's why I just why I just pretend like it's not there. That's why I just ignore fucking shit like that because it's not my problem. So you know, why is my fucking mouse dead? But exercise. Oh god. <laughs> Ooh, this 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 really like whew. this section of the video debunks the entire fat acceptance big is beautiful bullcrap because y'all know y'all know that living to be fit is more beneficial to your life functionally aesthetically and opportunity wise and you still complain you st what and you still choose to complain and not actually my do the fucking work. mouse is broken ah i got it out like girl think logically for a sec why the hell would Chris Brown or, or anyone from that matter, any singer, anything, would want you doing the thug shake behind them while they sing about sex? That's gotta Wired be mouse? No, I use a wireless. The least arousing thing known to men. And speaking of the fact that sex sells, you don't not know all what, people are fat. Some are two hundred plus pounds. Yeah, that's not fat. I wouldn't say that's fat. I feel like it. And okay, all right. Here, here's the thing. The the term fat is like I don't know how to explain it, but like it, it's not like a there's a generic term the term fat is just like a generic term there's not really like a definition of like who is if you're this amount of weight you're fat the way i see it like just by default is like if you're over 400 pounds i would say that's pretty much fat um like or actually i would say that's more like morbidly, morbidly obese but if you're somebody who is fat if you are somebody who has um if you if your body shape is more spherical than like either this or this then you probably are fat do you make anything from ads a little bit i, mean, I make a little bit just, just a little bit just just a little pinch you know really just a little pinch. grinds my gears plus sized no no who am i kidding fat models this gas no you're right they're plus size models aren't fat models agenda pc culture is trying to push has gone too far now PC because culture? this defeats the whole purpose of a model they always complain about the beauty standards being toxic and all of that but you want to know why the beauty standards are what they are because they're actually beautiful universally and that's why traits like i wouldn't say universally i find most models like fucking ugly like slim or like i don't know there's a there's a type of face that models have um yeah but anorexia is also nothing you want either but um um what was i gonna say um like there's some there's some models or actresses that have like a certain face to them or even like music artists and like they just don't look attractive to me. Like there's not, they're not, it's not that they're not attractive. It's just my own opinion of like, I just don't find them attractive. Like, uh, what, what the fuck's her name? Like Cardi B, like those girls, like I don't find them attractive. They don't look hot to me. Like I'm just like, oh, okay. They're just, they're just there. Like, it's like, eh, I just don't see it.
where muscular figures and sharp features are seen as standards because they're very desirable traits and models have to I keep just hate women. these standards because it's their job to look top tier because again sex sells and you know this yeah, because you acknowledge it too me um since i am a dancer it is the most annoying thing like i go to auditions and i'm the only like plus size person there and literally if you go to a, a concert and see an artist you will like never see someone that looks like me dancing back up for like chris brown all they care about is you know oh sex sells and you know plus size you just sexy, said which <laughs> the, the denial bro models dancers any profession that is meant to be good looking and in shape adhere to our beauty standards because their value is their looks and how they maintain themselves it's a mandatory part of the job sure it's a yeah. shallow one but that's just yeah. how the game goes that is, that is true your figure and face and check shouldn't be easy nor should the profession otherwise everyone would be a model and your bob from monsters vs alien looking ass is not beautiful <laughs> like you can scream until you're blue in the face that a uh, big is beautiful and the modern standards of beauty are unattainable and toxic with, with side note i get by this dysmorphia and facial dysmorphia is a valid insecurity but yes th th that is an excuse to be like oh well i'm not them the world will just have to accept my fatness <laughs> i fully understand that even if you go into the gym every day and stick to a calorie deficit yeah. there's still a good chance that you won't look exactly like the models you see on instagram or you know on the runway you know the ones with the top one percent genetics but you still look great and realizing this and acknowledging that is actual body positivity caring for yourself whilst also accepting your flaws and the that is per that he said it perfectly Okay, caring about your flaws, caring, caring about your body and trying to do the best you can to keep it healthy and being okay with your like not deformities, but like your genetics and like your flaws. That is that is body positivity. That is that is how body positivity should be treated and how it should be talked about. But instead, what people are doing with body positivity is saying, oh, yeah, fat is beautiful or, or it's OK to be fat or it's like it's OK if you're like 400 pounds and. You know, you, you don't want to work out because it, you don't have time or this and that. Like, that's not body positivity. You're just letting people use the excuse of whether it's mental issues or, you know, genetic issues or anything like that. Like, not, not genetic, but like, you know what I mean? Like, people use that excuse when they looked perfectly not... They, like, the thing I've noticed, it, side thing, I've noticed a lot of people say, like, oh, I have a genetic issue where, you know, I'm big boned or whatever, when... Their family members are don't have those genetics. Like they, they don't they don't have like the the big bone gene. You know what I mean? Like they don't have that. And if they do, it's probably because they had the same fucking issue you did growing up, where they didn't fucking stop feeding you a bunch of shit. Like it's just kind of what it is. Uh, because she didn't have to fight her opinion. Yeah, she she absolutely did not want to fight her opinion. Um. But yeah, it's company. They don't. They're not trying to offend you. It's just business. Like that's. It, unfortunately, that's the business. But it's. It's just business. These people gotta understand that fat is not one of these uncontrollable flaws. It's not on the level of stretch marks or scarring or hip dips or any anything like that. Because body fat in most cases is self-inflicted damage. It's yes. not this unchangeable aspect yes. of your body that people will call you brave for exposing. All they want to say is, C cover up, please. God damn, Melvin, put the belly rolls away. God damn. Body Jesus. fat is a sign of a lack of respect. Now that's just body shaming. Let's not do that. It's also a sign of a lack of self-discipline and laziness. Disease or not and it for damn sure ain't pretty and one more thing what is it with you globular clusters throwing around the term fat phobic whenever people want to call you out for taking up the whole walkway at walmart if you work out because you want your body to look a certain way you don't care about health you are fat phobic why are fit people fat phobic what too? what in the fuck acceptance and embracing are two different things i mean yeah but are you wait what are you, are you trying to say i don't know trying to say but hold on Wanting to work out means you're fat phobic? I guess I'm fucking fat phobic then. Like, then what the fuck? What even is fat phobic? I'm not afraid of your fatness, unless we're doing a trust fall. If anything, the fat. <laughs> God, this guy's awful. You get so insecure over people wanting to not be fat like you. It's proof that you know that big really isn't beautiful. It's a lie you told yourself to justify being unattractive. Because that insecurity is one-way traffic. Every other yeah. non-deathly humongous person just feels bad when they look at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, that, that's just mean. That, this is just mean, bro. Mommy, why is he built like that? I, I, I don't know, sweetie. Just, just don't be rude to the poor bastard. Just, just keep walking. <laughs> and that to me is the absolute worst thing about this whole fat Jesus. acceptance movement. It's life altering and life threatening. It shouldn't yeah, be glorified. I agree. Here with goes that. Western media trying to be inclusive and accepting of everyone. Oh, she's just big boned, plus size. People need to stop being fat shit. Like, no.
No. This whole acceptance shit, it, it gives these armored tanks an excuse to be unhealthy and convince <laughs> themselves and others that looking like a truck tire is normal. Oh like, step one is to stop lying to yourself. We all secretly know you're unhappy with yourself and want to actually appreciate what you see in I've never met a fat person that's ever said that they are truly proud of their fat. It's all a cope. But for a lot of you, you simply just cannot be asked to put in the work to look how you want. So instead, you want to convince yourself and everyone else in your position that you're normal and everyone who doesn't think so is fat phobic. And I kind of feel for some of these people too because because a lot of people who What in the fuck? What 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 does this mean? Negative canthal tilt, prey eyes, acne. I would rope max, but grandma called me handsome on Facebook. What is this broccoli head looking motherfucker talking about? Who are fat or unattractive gave up on weight loss and improvement in general because not only could they not handle the discipline, but they've convinced themselves they're unattractive before even trying. And yeah, I'll be honest, while you may never become a 10 out of 10, even if you work hard on your physical appearance, yeah. you still have a good chance to become a 7 or an 8 out of 10, which is 1,000 times better than what you are now and will give you so much more from life than what you're getting now. And yeah. I mean, hey, take this as a little bit of motivation. If you as a beached whale had the strength to be able to sit through this whole video without clicking off, unsubbing, or reporting the channel, you definitely have the willpower. I him to a discord call with some overweight people dude he would fucking cook them i'm sorry this guy would cook them like listen all right i agree with him in the situation of like how this whole acceptance thing of like our generation being extremely accepting of people's genuine like either eating disorders mental disorders or like actual like unhealthy habits is not okay we, we should not be doing that. We should not be gratifying and embracing these fucked up things. Okay, he definitely get called fat phobic. Yeah, by people who are fat. I feel like it's like, it's like, I mean, yeah, you're right. But like, the thing is, is like, even if, even if you have like 10 people who are plus sized against this guy, who's literally just spitting facts, I, 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 this guy has been spitting facts, but he has been talking way too much shit about fat people. I feel like he shouldn't be doing, but I guess that's his niche or whatever. So go off, I guess. But like, it's not my thing, but the whole thing of like, oh, okay. Crush. All right. Well, they would crush up my row. I mean, well, if you're going to say they're crusher, they would, I mean, just look at them, but it's a joke, but, but for real, this whole thing of accepting like people who have these mental or physical problems is not okay. Like there's a difference yeah, the hate I disagree with, but he is spitting the facts. Like, like there there are ways to solve these issues instead of saying, oh, society needs to fix itself for me. No. No. Nope. Society is, th this is a hard truth that a lot of people need to realize. Society is not going to fix itself specifically for you within your lifetime. It is not going to work like that. Whether you are fat, whether you are skinny, whether you are gay, whether you are straight, it is not going to fix itself for you. The best thing you can do is live your life the best way you can, the best, the, the healthiest way you can, especially in America with the bullshit that we have. But the best way to live instead of worrying about society fixing itself for you is fix yourself for you, not for society, but for you. Whether it's you may be a little bit overweight or whether it's maybe, you know, you have depression or maybe you have anxiety or some type of mental disorder or maybe you have, you know, maybe you're gay or maybe you're, you know, some sexuality. Do not tell society to fix itself for you because let's be honest here, okay? We could do we could do as much as we want, okay? We could sit there and we could post on Twitter. We can fucking scream ass out of a Starbucks, okay? We can complain about the planes. We can do all of that. But nobody is going to fucking care. So instead of trying to fucking make it everyone else's problem, start it with a, your problem. Not saying that being gay or anything is a problem. Just saying like, you know, like, like if you have a problem with yourself, instead of trying to say, hey, I'm plus sized and I can't fit in this plane. Lose fucking weight. Hey, I'm depressed and I really can't be working all these hours because it's really stressful. Make time to help yourself, whether it's therapy or finding a way to, you know, combat that depression. You know, there are things you can do to help yourself. And that is why I, it's shit that I do. Like, I have problems. But, like, I will never sit there and be like, oh, yeah, society needs to hear my bullshit. Okay, no. Nobody wants to fucking hear me rant on my bullshit. Like, no, that's just not happening. What is this? What in the fuck?
What, what, what does this mean? Negative canthal tilt. Fuck. What is this broccoli head looking motherfucker talking about? <laughs> I was talking about the dude's hair. Like, this guy, I don't understand. Like, what, what, what is he talking about? What does this even mean? I don't understand. What does that mean? Am I dumb for that? I don't know what that means, but whatever. That, that, that's, that's my whole thing about, like, society trying to do that stuff. That, that's how I feel. A gym session tomorrow, and then an even longer one the next day. Like, okay, I know I'm really blunt and dickish on this channel when it comes to my opinions, but the truth is, I don't think this positive, cucky, anti-bully support everyone mindset does very much good at all. Because I find It doesn't. It really doesn't. What it does is it gives the negative mindsets of the people we're trying to help a leg to stand on and reject any advice. Because a person going through hard shit will internalize the fact that they have a disadvantage compared to everyone else. And that fact will stick with them as they try to improve and serve as a deterrent to that improvement. Placeboing them into not trying as hard and whatever they're doing. It's the same luck. That's exactly what that is. That's what the whole plus size movement is. Because what people are doing is they're gratifying the idea of, you know being unhealthy they're 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 gratifying it and 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 low-key sexualizing and fetishizing it and it's fucking gross like if people have problems maybe stop it's the same thing that people do with people who are like who have like depression and like you know or are, are very like you know emo and depressed and like people fetishize that shit and it's like why these people have mental problems and you're sitting here like, oh my God, dude, she's so hot the way she has like scars and the way she's like, she goes to Hot Topic and like, oh, I know it's a stereotype, but still like, that's what people do online though. It's like, that's, that is what people do before anyone in the YouTube comments are like, oh, that's just a generic uh, stereotype. No, it's the fucking truth. I've seen this shit all over Twitter, TikTok and Reddit. It's fucking disgusting. I, I don't get it. Like, and it's always the joke of like, oh, I can fix her. Guys, I can fix her. She has mental, guys, I can fix her. Like, stop fetishizing it. It's so fucking gross. Like, there's no such thing as a perfect world where everyone's going to be perfect. But maybe we should not be doing shit like this because it's really not okay for people. It's not. Like, this is why I'm scared for my kids to have a fucking cell phone when they grow up, man. Like, when I have a kid, it's like, dude, oh my God. And, and especially that shit. Oh my God. That's another thing. Hey, Cricket, you're here for the video. You missed it. How'd you get these incels justifying the fact that they get no play with the fact that they aren't six feet tall with blue hunter eyes when in actuality they're just weird and scare the women like one or two setbacks does not make you hopeless bro like i promise you yeah i believe that if you focus and reinforce someone's ability to improve and give a lot less attention to it'll be on the second channel don't worry and hindrances they will actually focus on improving rather than how their problems yeah, exactly. will hold them back and no i don't mean to invalidate their issues but focus more on the actual need for improvement rather than the issues they face an yeah. example from my life that got me out of this negative mindset was when i was having an argument with my dad over my inability to focus and slow down because whenever I did anything that required focus over time, I always mm -hmm. miss small details or rush things because my brain just... This is an accurate depiction of me uh, trying to edit a video for like a week. Like, what I'll do is I'll be like, all right, I'm going to record tomorrow. I got a video and then I'm good. And then this is me for like the whole week just running around in a fucking circle. Moves at 110 oh wait, hold on, miles an hour hold on. I gotta time. wait. On hold on, that, I got the highlight I'm channel. Fidgeting and interrupting people when in conversation, and not really seeming as if I listen or pay attention to instructions or whatever I'm doing. And these things really annoy my dad. Because why is that actually? It almost looks like I'm ignoring instructions, then make mistakes and wonder why it went wrong. And when we were having this argument, I kept bringing up the fact that there's something clinically wrong with me, and it's so much easier said than done, Dad. You don't. Fair. Understand me, and for that reason, it isn't my fault. And then he shut me down with a few words. He said, "Okay, what did that solve?" And to that, I had no response because it made me. Th That's holy shit! Wait, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, thank you, thank you. Wait, wait. I mean, that—that's low key true, though. Like, I never thought about it like that. Like, if you have, like, all these mental problems and, and you use that as an excuse, what did that solve? Hmm. I think, like, okay, yeah, it may not be all my fault, but I still make them. And complaining won't solve them. And they'll continue to happen. Hmm. And these kinds of careless mistakes aren't going to be accepted in adulthood, disability or not. So it's either fix up or shut up. That's eh, true. And, you know, a lot of people would be like... Oh, well, how are you just going to sit there and let society control you? I'm not. I'm just going to fucking ignore it and do what I can to live my life and just have a good time. You know what I mean? Like that. That's how I see life. This is how I see life. OK, um, I'm going to live my life the best way I can mentally, physically and emotionally. OK, maybe that maybe emotionally, mentally, same thing. But still the way I this big brain time, uh, the way I feel 
about life is I know that I'm not going to be perfect. There's no such thing as me ever being perfect. There's no such thing as my girlfriend in the future ever being perfect. There's no, there's no such thing as my kid ever being perfect or my family ever being perfect. But what I do have control over is my path. And I have the ability to say, hey, I'm going to do this with my life or hey, I'm going to do this with myself. Uh, you care about your mom? Cringe. Like, oh, God. Oh, God. But, you know, it, it's really a situation of I have control over this. Now, am I going to be perfect in the sense of like, oh, I'm not going to have depression? No, I, I, I have. I definitely have. I've been diagnosed with depression before. You know, I've had really bad battles with depression during high school and I still have it to this day and I'm never going to be perfect. But if I sit here and use depression as an excuse to say, oh, I can't work out or, oh, I can't make a video or, oh, I can't make a, make a TikTok or a fucking YouTube short. Like, that's just like, congratulations, you're making excuses. Now, what the fuck are you going to do with the rest of your time? Like, that's stupid. Like, it's just stupid. Like, I'm not going to say to people, shut the fuck up if they have excuses. Not, not say that, Cricket. That's, that's not a funny joke. Um, but my thing is that like when it comes to, um, you can't, you can't say, well, I'm not even going to fucking whatever. Um, uh, when it comes to like saying you have this problem or that problem or that problem instead of sitting there. Okay. Instead of sitting there and just looking at the problem at hand and saying, I have this problem that is not going to solve anything. Instead what you should be doing is saying, I have this problem. Let me do my research. Let me collect my thoughts and find the best path at this point in time for myself to help with that problem. Now, does it mean it's going to be a fix for that problem? Like, just like that? No, that is the point of the path. That is the point of it. During that path, you will find those, those things. You will find those ways to win. You will find those ways to fix your problems. It is never going to happen quickly. That's just how it is. But a lot of people don't want to do that. Maybe it's because they're too lazy, they're too scared, or they don't understand how to start. Another one. And that's what they need. Another that's just one. what they need. I, I'm not going to talk Another about it anymore, one. but that, that's just Another what I one. wanted to say this because that's honestly why I wanted to watch this video because a, a big whole thing. All right. Fuck you, Stereo. Um, but like that is just that's just how I feel. Like like especially people who are plus size, you know, it is hard. I 100% un understand that. But I've also seen people who wait a lot lose a lot because they said, you know what? I'm going to go on this journey. I'm going to go on this path. And that's, that's really, that's really what people need these days. But okay. All right. Fuck off. But people just don't want to do it. People just want to take the easy route, which is unfortunately what this world is coming to. And it's really sad.